Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. I just read this this morning to go along with the weather. There is a bipartisan bill in the Senate to make this Sunday's time change the final one ever for us. Oh. So it may pass, it may not. Okay, so here's how it works. Standard time, they say, made sense 100 years ago when it established, uh, it was established to help with uh, train travel and other things. But at this point, the best argument seems to be, well, this is how we've always done things. Daylight saving time has been connected to fewer car accidents, lower risk for heart attacks and strokes, fewer robberies, and less energy usage. That's, you know, it's very depressing when the clocks go back and we have that early hour of darkness in the afternoon. So I'm right. for it. Let's do so it. So that they're Look looking at, the at that. It is. If this becomes a law before November, we will stay with daylight saving time, which we're doing this weekend uh, for good. No changing back in the fall. My clock in my car is daylight savings time because I never switch it. That's what, Maybe I'll get know. lucky and I'll never have to be switched again. You know, or half the people are going to get lucky. Half the people are in trouble, Kenny. Right. That's be, right. If, if that clock is not right in the car, we are all in trouble. I wonder. Hmm. If if this gets uh, turned into a law, so yes, big big doings, Candy. With the that's uh, big. That finally they're working on something important. Uh, I'm yeah, but kidding, kidding. I and I know. These, listen, there was a big day yesterday. They signed the uh, or they're about to sign the stimulus bill, right? They passed the uh, the stimulus, and now possible daylight saving time forever, which is incredible. You know, I was taking the garbage out the other day, and it was close to six o'clock. And it was still light out. And love it. Like, Don't you love it? Wow. Yes. I do love it. It was um, it was nice. I love this time of year. Uh, get to, You know, I remember it was last year, about April-ish, April, May, where I would sit out. Remember the old man on his rocker candy? I would sit out. I do. And, uh, you know, uh, hang out in the good weather candy. Watch Tony, my little Tony, walk around on the grass. I can't believe it's been almost, uh, it's been almost a year, but... That's coming, more daylight coming this weekend and and maybe uh, forever. So that'll be interesting. Um, I'll start your day off with uh, this little little uh, tease candy. I, I want to... I want to hear about whether you went outside and, and, and took Tilly yes, out. I you make uh, it sound like it's a no. special day. Well, no, because I what my, my my point was a little later in the show here this hour, I will tell you about my visit to the cardiologist. Yes, Katie. I was thinking about you, and I'm like, I wonder right. if I should find a cardiologist. You know, uh, I'm a bit <laughs> older than he is. How come he's got one? I don't. We we I will we we can discuss on. that. We can discuss I that think later about this hour it today. Yeah, because I, I have some tips for you, Candy, for sure. Okay, uh, all right. But I, I, I did not want you to uh, put me on the spot yet. I want to know if you actually went out and enjoyed that weather yesterday. Of course, silly. of course. First of all, you know you're getting old when you go and you buy a Lazy Boy lounger and a sofa and a table that you can wheel over to you and lift it up. It becomes a dining room table so you can eat in the living room. <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay, that's what we did yesterday. I resigned myself to the fact that, yes, I guess I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah. Well, and there is nothing wrong with eating in the living room. That's all I took no, out of that. No, we do it all the time. We might as well do it right. Uh, yes, so we have these uh, pieces of furniture being put together for us or whatever made, and mm -hmm. they'll be delivered, uh, I guess, at the end of April, hopefully. Ah, so you and Brian both went out yesterday. We did. We sat on many, many sofas, many sofas. You know, I used to love that in uh, in better times, going into yep. a, uh, a, a a couch store, you know, a, a house store, right? Yep. And mm -hmm. Sitting in, they have all the living rooms set up, like they little have living all rooms. The living rooms set up beautifully. Yeah. So you uh, look at you furnishing. Yeah. Very nice, yeah. Kenny. Furnishing the home. Yes. So that was yesterday. We put our butts in many a sofa seat and rocked and did all this and that. They were having a sale and. Uh, yeah, while Brian was doing all the paperwork, I was rocking in a chair. I said, oh, this, is, <laughs> this could be my speed over here. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, I wish. Yeah, I that's, wish that's I... what's going on. I, I gave up uh, beauty for comfort. Put it that way. Yeah, of course you want to be I comfortable. I picked the couch for its beauty, but I picked it for its comfort. Listen, up until uh, her final days or maybe a little bit before, my uh, my um, great grand my my grandmother. 
my I almost said great grandmother, my grandmother, Gigi, who passed it a hundred candy. Yes. Uh, she she had uh, plastic on her furniture. Oh, still not the plastic. <laughs> she had plastic on the yes. one of the one of the couches uh, my there. My great auntie Annie, plastic. I yeah. never understood the plastic. <laughs> we had we had plastic for a little. At, uh, towards the end, I think the plastic was gone, but there was some plastic. I remember the plastic on the furniture, kid. Oh. Good. Very old school. I'm not going that far, but I, I I did take one giant step in being older yesterday. That's all I'll say. Very nice. I bought something for comfort, not beauty. That's all that matters. I do that every day of my life. That's all <laughs> you need. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.